intersectional vegan since the dairy we the dilemma. As one once how are speaking up for the rights of animals, we should always put the animals first. Because we are their only voice and the only one that speak up for them. If we are going to take a position that favors our species and discriminate against the animals, we are basically signing with the oppressor. To fully comprehend what this position implies, it actually means that you are going to sign, if you are going to stay consistency in this position, that you are going to sign with Hitler and say that since the Nazis were also a victim of a violent and brutal system, that um, you're going to make pacifist exchange in the Nazi Germany by catering to the needs of the Nazis. You're going to give them land and money. Basically what Chamberlain was doing. You know, that guy that uh, tried to make peace with Hitler by giving um, large parts of land where where most would live, white people with blue eyes and blonde hair. The urban ones. Like right there, like Hitler did call it. Which this position also implies is to sign with people like Hammond, the governor of South Carolina, I was saying that slaves don't care about their families and how actually did claim that he even did now personally one slave that willingly gave up all the bounds with his family to stay with his slave master. Like, like so much of those freaking farmers were saying about the cows. Have you ever heard the scream of a mother cow on a dairy farm? A scream for her stolen baby? I think if you ever heard it, you will never say that a cow don't care about it, her calf. It's heartbreaking. It's one of the most saddest dreams I have ever heard. To stay consistent in this position, one also needs to uh, give compassion and empathy to whalers who kill off thousands and thousands of whales in a year. One also needs to give compassion to hunters waiting and stalking animals and display them like trophies. Mark. the Zodiac Killer was doing with part of the trophies of their victims. To stay consistent in this position, one also needs to show empathy and compassion for vivisectionists torturing animals to death in those barbaric, archaic industries they call vivisection. Vivisection is a fraud. You don't can actually write good results from animal to animal when it comes to research like that. For example, even in some studies, for example, gene expression studies, there is shown that the difference between two genders and two same kind of species can even make a more a big enough um, impact that the study on the male is not comparison to the female in the same species. Genetics is very specific. 
Animal studies often led to wrong conclusions also. And those experiments are brutal. One ex for example, some examples of vivisectionists are doing to the animals is actually putting a helmet on their head and actually fry their brains. Other experiments include making them addicted to hard drugs and testing medicines on them and inject them with diseases, mutations of diseases for our species. Another thing is also you need to feel empathy for dog fighters to stay consistent in this position and also to the people that were actually in the time of slavery actually forced black people to fight to the death to each other like John Africa did explain to all those dog fighters he did fishes and where he did free the slaves dogs from you know you know it is time that we are starting to care about the victims and screw the victimizers I only gonna to give solidarity and compassion to those people if there are throw their guns away, break them down in two. If the fifth sectionists are break down their laboratories, if whalers destroy their murder devices and show and start to show solidarity and give compassion to the victims, animals too that are actually first exploited and terrorized. My compassion is for the victims. I will never sign what any conscious oppressor. Empathy should only be reserved for the ones who are oppressed, never for the oppressor. It's time to Put a mirror on your face and do on some self-reflection. Do you know what is more insane than slaughterhouses? Meat eaters and animal, other animal abusers. Walking around like the lifestyle don't harm anybody. What a joke. I see you later. When darkness and light become one, the reality split it away, a truth become visible. An intersectionalist start actually educating non-vegans and take the advice of Dr. Luther King when he did say to the people how ask him to stop Malcolm X radicalism. Dr. King said to those people, Malcolm X will stop radicalizing on the day that racism dies. Replace racism with anthropocentrism. And my name or any other radical vegan or people vegans that are speak radical. It's not hard. I'm not your enemy. As a movement, we should actually work together and put away, put aside our differences. We cannot be agreeing on any position 100% of the time, but at least you can respect and understand each other's kinds of activism and not harassing each other on nitty-pitty small things. 
that are, are basically foolish to criticism each other on when there are so much more worse things on the planet happening. I see the light there.